Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the Hitech Software Solutions channel. And uh, this is the 10th part of uh, our photo gallery tutorial and Laravel framework. As you remember uh, in the last video, we finished uh, everything about our photo gallery. And uh, uh, as I promised in this video, we will add uh, some toast messages to our project. Before we start, uh, if any one of you guys have didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel first and hit the bell icon to not miss the updates. So let's start. Well, for toast messages, uh, we will use a package uh, which is already uh, created and we can... Uh, this is the package that we want to include in our project. As you can see, these are all the documents and uh, it is called Sweet Alert. I will leave the uh, link of this package in the description for you guys. And uh, this is the uh, an example for it. So for installing uh, this package in our project, we need to copy this code, this one line of code. And let's jump to our code and uh, let's open our terminal and in here paste the code and press enter this will probably take some time so guys uh, the package has been installed successfully and uh, uh, after installing the package if we see the page for it and uh, we have to go to this documentation link in here click on this installation link so after uh, installing it with composer we can use this uh, class we have to add it in our config folder in app file so copy it and if we go to our uh, text editor we have to go to this config folder and our app.php and at the bottom in here we can paste it after pasting this we also have to paste the alias for uh, our text, uh, text messages so we also need to copy this line of code in our project. Paste it in here. Close the file. And if we check the documentation, uh, this is all we need to do. And if we go to our configuration, first we need to add this, add this line of code in our uh, main blade, which is app.blade.php and if we go to our code it is located in resources views layouts and app.blade.php and at the bottom after all the scripts we will paste it in here so after copying this uh, let's run this php artisan command in our uh, terminal so in here paste it and press enter it will create a folder inside our views which is called windows and if we open it as you can see this is a, a, a call for the session if uh, the session has uh, a message so uh, it will show the message in the project if you guys remember at the beginning of the uh, this tutorial we copied some files from our public folder to the root directory of our project which was uh, this dot ht access file and this index.php file also and we did this because we wanted to uh, serve our project or from the local host of vamp server so for that reason uh, whenever we want to uh, uh, call an asset file we should include our public folder also in the link because it won't work and uh, it will only work without public uh, when we serve our project as a php artisan from the terminal so uh, the minor change that we need in this file is to add this public slash and after writing our public slash close the file and uh, close the app.blade also now we have access to toast messages in our project. Close the terminal also. 
so let's go to our project and first of all we need to uh, include the message a toast message uh, for the login we want to show uh, the user a toast message uh, something like uh, you have been logged in successfully after uh, a user logs in so what we have to do is go to our app HTTP controllers auth and our login controller as you can see guys uh, this line of code is the redirection after a user logs in to the system we don't need this so we will remove it we need our method authenticated which is a default method uh, created in laravel so for that we have to say public function authenticated and the user information which is coming now we want to check uh, if uh, uh, the user uh, is not empty in the database so for that we can we have to say if information mark empty and inside empty we want our user variable so if it's not empty uh, we want to redirect to the home route and uh, we also want to show a toast message so at the top we have to use our uh, toast messages which, which we described in the uh, app.php if we see it again as you can see we have the alias for it alert so we can see use alert. Terminate it. and now in here if we see the documentation and uh, in the sidebar go to usage and these are all the examples for the messages and we want this toast message we'll copy this and paste it in the project and for the message we want to say you have been logged in successfully And the type should be success and after our message we want to return our redirect arrow route which route our home route so let's uh, check our code if we refresh our page and try to log in the user information and enter as you can see our toast message has uh, uh, shown successfully so guys uh, this was how to add uh, sweet alert into laravel and how to use them so it was pretty easy uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video this was all for this video and uh, in the next video we will probably uh, work on our d delete functionalities both uh, uh, the delete for the photos and also the delete for the um, gallery we want it to be uh, user friendly we will use uh, 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 a confirm text box and uh, after a delete if the user deletes the uh, gallery or photo we want to show a toast message so guys adding the toast messages uh, uh, to other functionalities in uh, the project i will leave it to you guys so best of luck adding the toast messages into other functionalities of the photo gallery so have a nice day see you in the next video